All right, look, check it. So this, this is, this is one job, right? You are going to fact check if you need to. Actually, no, you don't even got Wi-Fi, so fuck that. Was that was a fact check? I always wanted that. You know how you know how Rogan has, like, a Jamie... Well, everybody has a bunch of a, Xavier producers. They, but, yeah. but, but you know how they be fact checking? Yeah, so yeah. Like they bring shit up when you don't, like, got it on the road. Nah, bro. It's like, yo, okay, okay. Is that you know why that wouldn't work for George? Because half of his arguments are all based on nonsense, and the yeah. other half are based on the hood. The hood don't got statistics. Facts. Number one, and the other side is nonsense. So if you get fact checked, you're gonna realize it's, how dumb you look. No, no, no. It's okay though because that's why you're here. The no, whole point bro. of you being here yeah. is for you to balance out no, the dumbassness. No, no. But you know what I mean? Like, if you're like, no, bro, but you know what I'm talking about, right? And then people be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. But then you're producing the back. It's like, yo, be quiet. You're wrong. Like, <laughs> nah, you know what? <laughs> like the whole time, the whole I time. Know, that's, like, that's, nah. That is a good point though. Now, now that I think about it, that might be to my like, nah. You know what? That might not be to my demise though. Cause not every. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my. Yeah, bro, you're demise. gonna be. No you're going to be Trump with Twitter. You know what I mean? Like, everything you tweet is actually a lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Bro, Jack. Yeah. Jack that was makes, like, Jack was like, sense. yep, lie, 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 lie. That's bad, bro. You got, I'm not disconnect. When you just sure. call the liar on Twitter, that's bad. Like, you got no choice. Whatever you say is wrong. All right, guys. We're reporting live from Nevada as we await the results um, of this incoming uh, presidency. And uh, this upcoming uh, election, yo, Jay, whenever you want to talk, just snatch the mic from my hand. Just give scared. me a shoulder tag. Give me a shoulder tag. Like, just okay, be discreet. Remember, be whatever discreet, you like, say, hey, hey, I yeah, talk. whatever you say, <laughs> we ain't going to hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not, we're not going to hear what you're saying. So we're going to get this mic situation like, you, see, you see, he got, the, he got that pretty boy light skin look right now. He, he do, like, right? Right? That's what, you know what? You know what I realized? No, it's, it's, it's not. It's a squint. It's, it's a, a squint. squint. Everybody knows what yes, I mean. Yes. Like you grab your chin and you do this. Yes. And, and, and nobody squint. knows why. Because they pretend like the sun is out. That's a, You know, that's a really good Why do light skins do that? Because they pretend the sun is out. Now, you know you know what it is, though? Do white people do that? Do white people squint? No. When they step outside? You've never seen you that. You don't think so? We see it. Like, look, look, look at Karen's picture. You don't see Karen squinting. Why do... Yeah, well, that's what I, was I, was, I was like, yo, it's, yeah, but it's maybe because people are not the darkest people. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. The sun affects them more. So they got to squint because it hurts. No, nah, but it became a thing because, look, like, you see them right they do this. It's like, first of all, what's up with your lip and what's up with your eyes? It's sexy. The <laughs> lip is sexy. Though. You can't lie. The, yeah, yeah. the lip is sexy. You know what it is? Now, I'm going to tell you what it is. Is that us as men, we be looking at these billboards or like videos or whatever of women doing that. Think about it. When you see a woman bite their lip, that's like a sexy thing for men. I think men yeah, try to emulate that. To I think, yeah, because uh, realistically, think about it. What nah, do bro. women do that's sexy? That's that level. That it, it's to that level. Or like, I guess it's considered like sexualized in that matter. When she gives like the, the when she walks away and looks back. And what do and what the guys don't do that? Guys do that all the time. Guys nah, tell you some gangster stuff. Walk away. Take at least fifteen seconds before you look back and see that she's still looking. Yeah, but at she, you. you don't do it. But a guy's, not, a guy's not looking like trying to be sexy. A guy looks at her like trying to be the bad boy. Exactly. But it's not but the, the same. bad boy is no, sexy I'm, to the girls. Okay, though. I not sexy to you, but it's sexy thing. to them. It's not the same thing. All right, man. Let's get serious now, bro. All right, Chris. You know, I got one question for you. Tell me what the fuck is happening right now. Oh, uh, man. All right, look. This is the thing, right? Everybody told us what was going to happen with the election, that uh -huh. we weren't going to know because of the mail-in votes, right? Okay. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the mail-in votes. The mail-in yeah, votes. Yeah, the votes that people mailed in, right? Allegedly. And so we know, look, if you've ever ordered anything... Wait, wait, wait. So yeah. they're not being destroyed? The mail-in votes are not being destroyed? No, no, no. Well, they're just... A lot of them are, are being delivered now. And so oh. the count and whatever, they're you know. They're taking too long. Yeah. They're being delivered, but those states specifically have rules and regulations. That you cannot start they, counting. They can't count. Yeah. They can't. Mm -hmm. They have... They have Oh, yeah, come yeah. on, bro. What you mean? Yeah, bro, because cause you say something oh. insightful, so the people have to hear they it. They have rules and regulations, supposedly, that and coincide that they can't count the votes until the day of election. election day. Yeah, exactly. So I kind of, that, that make, those states specifically are the ones that always have the problems. Uh, yeah, and so normally, all right, you already have delays, but you, by now you know the winner anyways. But this time around, you Who's have record. No, no, I'm saying no, in a normal election. Oh, but okay. this time around, you have record number of mail-in votes due to COVID, obviously. And so now you have a system that doesn't work and you have people having to count delayed like votes. They, they don't yeah. have, you're saying they don't have the amount of people that they would need it's to just, actually yeah, count that Yeah, exactly. Accurately. Look, the system in, in this specific state, like Pennsylvania, Nevada, Michigan, is, is a system that the counts like that. And so yeah. there's always a delays in general. Yeah. But right now you're seeing those delays uh, like amplified because yeah. of what's going on. Um, but yeah, like, you know, there were people, one of the, the little videos going around is, is that uh, Bernie Sanders video from his interview 
that he was announced like a week ago. He was telling you this is gonna happen, and President Trump is gonna. You know that, that video is two months old. It's, that video. Is I two thought it was a couple old. weeks old. Nah, it's kind of old. I think. No, it's he, like he, he, it was, he was, who was, it, was. it with uh, uh, Joe Rogan? No, 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 was it with? no, no. He was with uh, Saturday. Uh, no, um. Oh, it was a night show. Yeah, night yeah, show uh, with Jimmy uh, Fallon. No, uh, the other guy, Colbert. No, I'm pretty. Steve Colbert. Nah, yeah, it is Steve Colbert. Yeah, yeah, Stephen Stephen Colbert. I think it is. Can we get a fact check? <laughs> yeah, that's this where you got a fact check. Fact check. <laughs> please fact check that. Huh? Yeah, you got yeah, tripping, bro. Cause I mean, right. I mean, well, okay. This this is where I want to know, though, realistically, right? I understand that this shit is taking a long time, but what I do want to argue is what many people are probably already arguing that, right? Which is Trump stopped the votes. Trump is like, don't recount, yeah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. Whatever his deal is. The point is that he's obviously trying to win, obviously trying to stay in office. He ain't trying to go home, take a break, none of that shit. So he ain't trying to be on that type of time, which is understandable. That's probably ego too. You get me? He ain't trying to lose to uh, Biden or whatnot. So it makes sense to me. However, aside from that, what what I want to know is, I want you to speak on this. You, you have, you know, we're having this conversation. Why Trump? Why are people voting for Trump? Even from like the people that you know, the yeah, people yeah. you may not, why are people voting for Trump? I'm, I'm going to be What's honest with you. Uh... Yo, I was, I was okay. So someone sent me a video today, right? And this is this guy from the Daily Show, from uh, the Trevor Noah Show, who starts doing interviews of people uh, at Trump rallies, right? Over the the last couple, of, you saw that video? All right, there's this lady that he literally, and this is I want, I want, this is like the, the probably the best explanation for this, right? This lady, uh, the guy interviews her. Is he's he's being satirical, right? He's trying to piss people off, saying things that go right. Um, he's like, oh, you know, Trump was uh, accused of this and this and this. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, but, you know, he's accused. They didn't prove anything. Oh, no, but if you look at it, it's proven that he, you know. And, and at the end, the lady, ends, after a conversation, she ends up saying, it doesn't matter what he does, I'm still going to vote for him. Hmm. Like, it doesn't matter. And, and the guy went to the point that he's vulgar, that, that he's basically a rapist, that blah, blah, blah. He went through a bunch of different things. And she still goes on to say, it doesn't matter what he does, I'm still going to vote for him. Here's the thing. When most people that vote, they usually just vote for the party. They don't care if the person is bad or if they're good. They, and they usually, well, yes. they, they just vote for the Republican yeah, party. No, no, no. Unless yes. they completely switch and they yes. go Democratic. Yes. Yeah, this is... But Trump is, is, is like a unicorn in this sense, where a lot of people are not voting Republican. A lot of people are voting Trump. Trump. Yeah. And, and you see it in the sense where, where like some of the things he was saying, like this inflammatory comments about Hispanics, all right, we're back. All right, so uh, in regards to, to abortion, you know, this is the thing, right? Depending on where you stand the scale, the, the extremes, let's talk about extremes. People are like, oh, my body, my choice. Yep. But the government, and this is what people have to say, government has a responsibility to protect all life. Mm -hmm. like, like if somebody who's suicidal or tries to commit suicide yep. and they fail, the government has a responsibility to that person against yep. that person. They right. have to put them somewhere they could, someone can protect them because they are a risk to their own life. Yeah, you know what I mean. So the government isn't thinking just uh, the woman's body; it's thinking yeah. the life that is within that woman. Right. And now the big argument is when do you define life? Mm. And that's the big argument, right? Actually, before before you get into that, is there any benefit to the government or to any other party affiliated that women don't get abortions? What's the benefit of women not getting abortions? What are you protecting the, the right, right for that, that but, citizen? Too, right, because that's whatever. that's like the like. That's like a very like honorable thing. You get me? Like like I would say like to protect the life is a very honorable thing. Mm -hmm. I guess my my views on government is that they're not always honorable men or honorable oh, no, women. No, for so sure. is, yeah, is yeah. there any benefit though to like these abortions not being done? Yeah, so th that's the idea, right? The idea is because man isn't always going to get it right, mm -hmm. you create laws or stipulations, right, to mm -hmm. kind of guide the country. You know, one of the best things that US has is checks and balances. Right. Because you know no matter how bad or how good you think Trump was, he's only going to be here for two terms max. Right. Yeah. yeah. And Eight that allows months. a restart to the process. No matter how good your, your, you know, whatever is, there's always a new electoral system. There's always a new, you know, voting system. So you can go ahead and vote again and kick people out if you don't like them. Right. Like, and it gives every person that right. It's like, it's not like the European policy, which are like princes and kings. And they, yeah, they, yeah. they last, it's a family. And that family's always going to be in charge of it. Uh, no, and even here, you still see some of that similarity. Like, if you see it uh, in, in, the, in Congress. You see some of these congressmen and congresswomen have been for 40-plus years in service, right? Why? Because their community keeps electing them. But if somebody got fed up, you could take those people out and start, you know, like the AOC, right? AOC came out of nowhere last, last uh, term, and she won. Uh, 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 huh? I'm sorry. 
That's the Ale- Alexandra uh, Cortez. Cortez. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Cortez. Right? So she came out of nowhere, right, for New York, and she took that thing out. She was like, all right, this is out of the establishment. And even now you saw, you know, powerful uh, women of color coming into the Congress, right? So you have that uh, opportunity of saying, okay, we don't want to leave the power only to certain people, though granted the power still, you know, is a big imbalance in that. But I, I think, you know, when we think about policies, we're thinking about the greatest good for the greatest amount of people. That doesn't mean we're always going to get it right. You know what I mean? And, and so that's the difficulty here. It's like, how do you manage to create a law that is going to bless everybody or going to you know, prosper everybody? It doesn't. Like you know, of- you got somebody like, like Joe Biden saying, hey, I'm going to raise taxes, but only people who make over 400K. That might benefit most of the community. But now you saw rappers that you would never think support him are like, oh, no, no, I'm with Donald Trump. Because now they're thinking about themselves like this affects me. At the end of the day, everybody's going to care about themselves. Exactly. Everybody's caring about themselves. And so you are supposed to vote for politicians who identify with what you care about. Or at least the thing you care about the most. In this case, you know, for example, evangelicals. They, they say Donald Trump because of abortion. Or because of, of uh, religious freedom. That Those are two big ones you hear about evangelicals talk about. And, and it's fine by them if that's what they think. Uh, but the same thing with on the other side. On the other side, you feel like someone like Biden is going to support, you know, your your whatever view on abortion or your whatever view on, on uh, education reform or, or social reforms. And then you vote for that, yeah. right? But you know, the idea is you're going to make some concessions either way. Mm. Can you can? Because I feel like I've been hearing so many negative things only about Trump, right? And me, someone who's not into politics, like at, really at all, like I don't really check in on it much. Uh, just besides like the I guess like the here and there mm-hmm. news you hear, you know, so what is that, you know, what good has Trump done? Like what what are the things that like you could be like, yo, like he at least did this. That is yeah, good, is, that, is that like, look is that when you say good, what has he done? You're asking for whom, from whom? Like that's a good point. You know well, what I mean? OK, I guess for the I mean, because it could be anything then. Let, yeah, let's like, for example, you know all right. So yeah. um he, That's a good he, point, by the way. Though. He has he established or improved, quote unquote, relations with Israel. That's a big factor for Christians, mm-hmm. right? Because you know they, they see Israel as a promised land. They see yeah. right uh, as the nation of God, the people of God. And so now they moved the capital back to Jerusalem or the embassy. I'm sorry, back to Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. So you have like that kind of thing. They have that kind of thing where people are like, oh, he finally t- got himself out of some deals that sucked, like the New Deal, like the Green Deal, and blah mm-hmm. blah blah, the uh, Paris affairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, all of these things. So he's like, oh, you know what? These things we're paying too much taxes and too much into it and nobody else gives us anything it doesn't benefit us mm-hmm. we out gotcha. so people who, who are for those kind of foreign policies they're like hey he's doing great things uh you know so what, uh, people who are kind of racist he, you know uh, I mean, <laughs> you know what i mean oh, wait, how can he, you be kind of racist but, is, that, is that look, look i'm trying to be nice i'm trying to be nice i'm trying to no, be but, nice no, 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 i i know you are i'm but, trying to be nice but, 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 but saying that I just thought about like yo can there be kind can you be kind of racist no nah, you either or you aren't you know what i mean but uh, nah, I, I think there is a good uh, middle. Here's the middle. Either you have it or you don't have it. You, nah, you nah. Can't, can't, you know what? Look. You can be you can be kind of prejudiced, but you can't be kind of racist. Well, okay. Well, then how about the microaggressors? Would that be considered racism or aggression? Yeah, like you know, you saying like, oh, you're pretty for a black. Like for example, if you say, if you say, oh, you're pretty for a black girl, that's a microaggression. You know, if you say like, oh, you have nice hair for a Hispanic man, that's a microaggression. No, because uh, I get microaggressions from Hispanics all the time. All day, but all that's what I'm saying. Time. So, uh, would but they I get that, and, and we're like, we're we're the same people. I don't think that's racism. You know what I mean? So sometimes microaggressions. But is, to do is that considered any type of discrimination? Yeah, like prejudice right? or ignorance, probably. But but, but I don't racism. I don't think specifically based gotcha. on on race. That's what I say. It could be prejudice. But for you to be ah, prejudiced, right, it doesn't right. always have to be race. It can be sex. It can be gender. It can be... I get what you're saying. You know what I, I mean? I get what you're saying. It okay. can be a status quo, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm oh, sorry to cut y'all. Go ahead, guys. No, so no. What was I saying? The, the Trump... What has yeah. Trump done so, that's good? Uh, or for this guy, right? Uh, he's given a voice to that Midwest, you know... Area that people are like, who is considered what? What states? Nice. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to what be nice. States? I'm trying to be no. <laughs> what states are considered the Midwest? You know what I mean? You could do. I, I don't want to be that. No, no, guy, I mean, no, no. This but is you a real. Know what I'm talking about. Like, no, no. You, I'm being si- okay. Oh. There we go. That's considered <laughs> Midwest. <laughs> That's Jesus telling me to be quiet, Chris. Be quiet. You're about to get in no, trouble. No, this, no, 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 this is a serious <laughs> question. For for <laughs> what is the Midwest? What states are in the yeah, Midwest? But not just the Midwest. Like okay, so you got you know. So okay. Again, I'm. I want you to break it down for me because I'm a dumb motherfucker, right? Let's say there's a map right here. All right, you got middle. your middle. All right, you got your your South Carolina. You got your Alabama. 
Okay, you, okay. You got you got your you know, you know, you know, you know, this area right here, that the big nice Kansas area. You I know got you. I mean? got you. I hear you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but you though. got you got like That's the Midwest. You you got this this Florida area that don't include Miami Dade and yeah, don't yeah, include yeah. Tallahassee, wait, but wait, that Florida area. But that's area. considered Midwest? No, but that's the that's the South. That's the oh, South. Oh, yeah, about to say about the South. You know what I mean? Like all the South. The South, I know what the South is for sure. But Midwest is considered no, no, like North like Dakota is considered Midwest? Midwest. Midwest. Like right here, right? So this North Dakota, Nevada, that's Midwest or that's West Coast for sure? No, no. Uh, Nevada is Well, I mean, it's right next to uh, California. Uh, this right here is the Midwest. So what, like North Dakota, South Dakota? Where is it? No, no. What else is in there? The in Virginias that? is right no, here. No, Virginias is right way here. in Virginias the... Virginias right here. It's by East. New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like okay, the, the, that little... That, I got you. The that, area where, where tornadoes and shit yeah, like yeah, that yeah. be happening. I yeah, hear you. Like, you know, we're not in Kansas anymore. I got yeah, you. Now. Yeah, <laughs> I got that. you. So, okay. So, you're saying Trump has done a lot of good for that area. Yeah. Like, it, like in, in terms of their views. In, in ten, exactly. It's, it's allowed them to, to be able to... But is that necessary? Okay, so now this will be my question because you did say, you know, it's for certain groups of people, right? But now we're talking about, I guess, overall government. Is that Midwest area, whatever he's done for them, is that necessarily good for the rest of the country or or no? Uh, No, maybe. No, it all depends how you quantify. Is that, is that look, uh, the, even like this election is proving that is that this country is mad divided. It is, yeah. And, and Trump is the perfect example of how divided this country is. Do you think that Trump has caused a division? No, no, no. No, no. no. Okay. He, he allows us to... Is, Trump is a mirror that is reflecting what has always been in this country. The underlying, like, mm. you know, prejudice, ignorance, so racism, you feel, hatred. you feel like Trump... Though, you really feel like then Trump... Okay, no, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, because then you could really say Trump... Has allowed because I don't the think races. he caused it. I don't think he's right, the problem. Right, right. I think here. I think he's here. a reflection. Good and, point. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you why, right? He's a reflection because <laughs> some somebody. No, no, no. Because you don't blame. I don't blame him. No, no. I'm saying, but they, I, they I really, see themselves in him. Cause a, exactly. And so when you see yourself in some of the comments he says, then you have to wonder, what do I think of me? You know what I mean? Because look, if every evangelical is telling me that he is God's choice. And I don't think he's God's choice personally, you know what I mean? Because I wouldn't go as bad as far as to talk for God. Maybe he is God's choice. But I just wouldn't, I don't have the courage in my chest to say that he's God's choice. Because I don't I want to be that bold and get it that wrong when I go to heaven, you know what I mean? And, and I wouldn't say Biden is God's choice either. I just don't think neither, neither of these guys represent the love of Jesus, the character of God, right? But... But I'm saying, but if you can say that, and then on the other token, somebody can say, yeah, I like him because he doesn't want none of these immigrants here. Hold up. He's, he's covering a big area. He's covering both sides of the spectrum in this mug. You know what I mean? So then you start wondering, like, yeah, America's been divided. He's just allowing us to see how divided we were. Okay. So <laughs> I say your look. Your look is about to go deep. This like, is going to be my last question for you. What do you think of Cubans, right? Since we are Miami, right? Oh, you saw, so, you saw Andrew Schultz. For all of y'all Andrew wondering, Schultz, Andrew Schultz explains to you vividly. Yes, killed Vividly it. what I feel about y'all. Yes. I love y'all, but y'all forgot who y'all was. Yes, so what are your thoughts <laughs> on that? Your thoughts on the, on what is it, 23% Puerto Ricans? And they like 70-something percent. Si- yeah, 60-something percent yeah, American Cubans. What do you feel about that? Um, I think they played y'all in y'all history class. Right, I get it. Look, look, trauma is real. We talk about trauma in psychology and emotion and relations. Trauma is yeah. real even in your political affiliations. Mm-hmm. You're willing to vote for President Trump solely out of fear for socialism. Solely out of fear. Look, look, I'm telling you, I have no problem with people voting for Trump because they think he's the right candidate. I really don't. I have no problem voting for people, even if they think he's the man got picked. I have no problem with that. I get it. That's your view. You may be wrong, but that's your view. Have you but when people do it out of fear, for something that is extremely unlikely to happen in this country because of the way the country is established, then I think your trauma is showing and you may regret sometimes what you're about to do. Have you noticed how people crucify if you go for Biden or for Trump? Yeah, you're not going to win. You can't you're have not a gonna view win. Here. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. In other elections, you can have a view on who you want. They're not going to kill you here. They yeah. want to shoot you. They hate it, you. It's they, you're look, canceled. Look, I'm telling you, what's happened... how bad you get canceled. No, no. Is that what happens? We created such a big split. So now we don't have, like, I don't know who to vote for, but I'm more democratic, so I'll go this way. No, no. Now either you're a socialist or you're a Trumpist. Because I don't even yes. say conservative because you're a Trumpist. Like, you're a socialist or you're a Trumpist. And so it's like, hold up, what about us that we don't know where we stand? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. No, I mean, it, what, you said, what you said is true, right? That's what I've heard the most. And, again, I'm going off what he said, she said, right? 
So what I've heard the most is that, right? Cubans and and not even just Cubans, even like um, from like the younger Hispanic crowd, right? That vote for Trump is like, yo, like you know, we need to stay away from like the communism, the you know, mm-hmm. like like all of that, right? So my my thing is this, right? First off, uh, the funny thing to me was that I was just telling y'all how proud I was of Cubans, right? Like how far Cubans have come. The fact that they come to this country. Yeah, because yeah, look, think about it. Cubans really come to this country and they live like that. They live like that millionaire dream lifestyle, but in their own version. You know what I'm saying? Like they like, I, like they I have just, their own I, American dream. Yeah, like, like look, they pull up, right? Yeah, they get their you money. Know, you know. You know, they, they get their money by, you know, they scam and whatnot, right? We talk about the street dudes, right? Like, then the Hialeah crowd, right? You see, like, the, like, you know, we've talked about it, right? The Infinities with the with the body kids. Once you get the Mercedes in Hialeah, you know you made it in life. No, no, yes. see in the bag. Yes, but, but listen, listen, think about it. When you go and purchase that Mercedes, though, you're no longer right. scamming. <laughs> right. Like, but, but I'm, I'm talking about, like, like, the regular old guy who grabs the Infinity, puts the body kit on it, now your Infinity turns into a Ferrari, now you got the big gold chain. Like, you, you don't finesse the game. You know I mean, enough that even, like, the women in your community look at you, like, and they want to fuck with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I was really proud of that. I made the observation the other day because, First, that's an observation that, I mean, it's been going on for a long, a long, long time out here. But when I heard that part, I was like, I'm a little, like, like not disappointed, but, I, but I'm a little, like, on the earth side. Because I feel like, you know, especially in today's age, we, we got to stop with the, like, the, oh, um, I heard this and I heard that. It's like, bro, th- there is no more hearing. You get what I'm saying? And I know that I just said the he said, she said stuff, right? So that's why I make it a point to mention he said, she said, because... That tells you I ain't do my research. And I want you to know I ain't do my research. But a lot of people speak with a lot of conviction. You get me? Like, like, and what I mean by conviction is like you hear it in their voice, you hear it in their confidence that they know what the fuck they're talking mm-hmm. about is correct. But they haven't done zero research. So that's why I ask you mostly because I'm not too like, I guess I'm not at a point in my life yet where I'm ready to do that kind of research. You get me? Like politically speaking, because yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that interested yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, I, it, 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 they're starting to fe- like. For example, I'm gonna ask you this: whether Trump or Biden wins, how does it affect us? Like the regular everyday people, how does it affect us? It's like uh-huh. the thing about this country, right? Is like you gotta look at not just that. You gotta look at the House race. And you gotta look at the Senate, right? The Senate is now is gonna be about the same. It's a split. And the little house, you know, Demo- the Democrats lost some seats and they're still, you know, they're still dominating the house, though, for the most part. And so now what's going to happen if they get uh, a Democratic, um, you know, White House or what happens if you get another Republican White House? Are you going to have a lot of fights again, like Nancy Pelosi against Donald Trump? Are you going to have uh, Mitch McConnell against, you know, Nancy Pelosi? Because the way the, the laws are made here. This thing allowed for one person to get all the say. If they did, Trump would have done a lot more than what he was able to do. I mean, Obama, too. If Obama would have done it. Because, you know, all these politicians promise you a bunch of things. They can't do it because they have to work with each other. And sometimes out of pettiness, they'll be like, bro, I, I ain't going to write. I ain't going to support your bill. I ain't going to support your, I'm going to veto whatever you pass me But through. that's the whole thing, that Donald Trump t- put that, the Republican in charge now. Like, she's the main one, right? She's Republican. Well, and, and, and the so Supreme Court just, yeah. Three. But she put three. So, yeah, he put the Supreme Court, right? So you Which have to. Which is big because the they, don't, court. They, they don't leave until they die. Yeah, like, yeah. So in the well, Supreme Court, I get, I get what you're saying. But they're not going to step down until they die. But, like, but as far dying. as, yeah, as far as, like, um, you know, what they do for you, that depends. You know, a, a lot of people, like Donald Trump is saying, oh, the economy is better now. But a lot of people will argue that it's because of what the, uh, so Obama, Obama did for did. eight years, and then now you're seeing the fruit. Right now, who are you going to credit? Obama or are you going to credit Trump? That depends on who you like. Let's be honest. That depends on who you which, like. Which, by the way, that was probably one of the shots I recognized Biden goes to Trump when Trump talked in the first debate. He goes, we handed you the economy. Yeah. And Trump, you know, Trump, like, dismisses those things. But that's a very interesting point. Now, the economy is all fucked up. Can they really get brought back by any president? Like, realistically now? Yeah. Like, think about just, I mean, you, would, you would have to have a lot of shifts. Like, for example, uh, and this is one of the things that Trump, you can, I guess you can credit for, is trying to bring things back to the U.S., right? Uh, you would have to do one of those. Yeah, um, but that, that but creates that, China uh, as no, an enemy. That, that creates high prices for things, right? The reason things are so cheap is because you send them off to some, yeah, you might send them off to some country and let them, you know, just import, right? But Trump raised import taxes to make sure things are built here. But, you know, and so, like, you're talking about that. You're talking about probably more taxation. You're talking about, you know, different social programs that may have to be reconsidered, reconfigured. And so, yes, you can. A lot of people do. But it's just right now we got stuck with a pandemic. Uh, people are losing their jobs. You know, some of these, um, 
you know, economies are, are old school, you know, restaurants, whatever. No, nowadays people can't afford to go out, you know what I mean? So you got to figure out how you're going to do all these things. Um, and so a lot of like a lot of the economic plans that both of these people have were not the best economic plans. And, it's, you know, they just kind of promised you a bailout. They probably promised you a, a stimulus check and, and see what happens. I mean, they didn't even give it. They only gave one. Yeah. I mean, realistically, we needed one throughout the whole pandemic. Yeah, but, but, you know. I mean, I mean, Trump supposed to be saying he wasn't giving no stimulus check to after the election. Yeah, he was so basically like, trying to buy your vote. Yeah, he's like, yo, if you pick me, you're going to get some money. Right. You know, so that's basically what it came at down to. Said, uh, at first he said no. Like, he gave one, and then he's like, no, nah, I'm not going to give another one. And he was like, oh, I'm in the house. I'm negotiating. He's not really negotiating. No, no, but, but he, <laughs> said, he says it. And, and you know, this is the thing, right? The thing is that if whatever, whoever you cheer is the party who you're going to believe. But he goes, oh, no, it's the Democrats. It's the Democrats. They don't want to work this something together. I'm ready to sign the deal. You know what yeah. I mean? But listen to what he's saying. He's I ready mean, to say, I'm ready to send the deal. He doesn't have the full authority. The way this country is divided in powers, if he had the, he would just sign, uh, uh, what's it called, a referendum or whatever, yeah. and he would just pass it through, but he can't. So, so, it's, so it's very clear. Even like, let's say Biden was president and people's fears of it being a communist country would fall down to the ground anyways because you got a gang of and, and other now, people. And now you have, you have a, a super conservative Supreme Court. Yeah. So anything that has to go, has to go through the Supreme Court. So, but, but that's, a, that's the thing. Everybody blames the president for everything that's wrong. But, well, you but are, there's a thing. There's are. a bunch of things. There's yeah, other things that but factor like, into that. Yeah, yeah. You gotta look, you gotta think about the U.S. Fate. You gotta think about U.S. like a corporation, right? Like a corporation. Your president is your CEO, right? And so whatever is success or whatever failure is gonna go on him. But it could have been your CFO who was the one that invested wrong. Or it could have been the supervisors at the lowest level who picked the wrong employees. Or it could have been, you know what, like, there's holes all around. So it's not, all the credit's going to go here and all the failure's going to go here. But you can find problems everywhere else. You know, that sounds a lot like um, when Warren Buffett was discussing Wells Fargo, right? Wells Fargo had created a bunch of uh, fake accounts under a bunch of fake people's mm -hmm. names. Um, or actually, I think real people's names, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right? yeah, but they, they weren't aware of, right? And so Warren Buffett was like, you know, we can't blame a CEO because there's X amount of branches, there's X amount of employees, mm. you're not going to know yeah. everything everywhere. But at the end of the day, though, if you're going to take the good, you're going to take the bad too. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're, you're that's gonna, part, of, yeah, that's part yeah. of the job. So, I mean, I, I completely understand. Um, I guess at the end of the day, all of this political... And again, the political talk is popping because for sure, without a doubt, this yeah. probably has been the most popular, the most, like time where any young people have been involved in the politics ever. This is the most people ever. have ever voted for a president in ever. history. That's insane. So, I mean, that, that right really now, gives you like... Right now, I think it was like, like a 71 uh, mil, I think it was Biden, right, right now. Yeah, though. Yeah, he was going up. And, and how much did Trump get? Like, he's like a 68, I think, mil? That's, that's we're talking about tens of millions. That's hundreds maybe, of millions. Maybe not that's, hundreds, but like yeah. over 100 million votes, period, though. You get me all together. And they're still counting votes. And they're still counting votes, exactly. So, so I mean, yeah. for sure has been like, I, I guess this little time you get me like between these last couple of days that this election's been going on i feel like it's non obviously it's non-stop because you know it's still going on so people are still like you know really like waiting that yeah. you know that the the final like results and whatnot but um you have anything to say oh, to add about how well, before i got here that you know how they're still counting votes yeah nevada says they're counting votes till november 13th yeah but but the you know they're they're expecting going? they're expecting by tom by tomorrow. Uh, Pennsylvania should have a better idea who won. Um, the, the reason Nevada is important right now because that's is, the, is that's because the big difference. It's it's because that's who wins. Those are look right now. They're estimating that that Biden has 264 electoral votes. He needs 270. Nevada has six votes. So if if he just wins Nevada, forget every other state that's still counting. Forget Georgia. Forget Pennsylvania. Forget whatever is already a wrap. So that's why Nevada is like such a hot right now. But realistically, uh, Pennsylvania has like 20 votes. Uh, Georgia has like 14, and I think. And that ties them up. And, and so like, you know, like at, the, at this point, the reason they're thinking six is let's win this one real or not right now. You know, we don't want to run the risk of losing this one then losing that one then finding out we might lose that one too. And so that's the fear right now. It's like, let's get to 270 right now. When he won Michigan, that was a big oh, the deal. Michigan was and a but big they're still deal. like, oh, I'm suing. I'm trying to go yeah, to court. Yeah, but, but I, I, think, I think the, the that's justice gonna, said... I honestly think that's going to fall through, but you know... No, justice, I think they rejected his, his appeal to... Well, only to, Georgia, though. No, no, I, in Michigan. Oh, they did? I think so. Uh, we're going to have to fact check all of these guys. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm going to fact check that. <laughs> All right, uh, y'all got anything else to add? Anything else to uh, discuss? Yeah, look. Can I ask something? Uh -huh. We're all wrong. Your views on politics are wrong. Our views on politics are wrong. The only way we're going to get somewhere right is if we conversate about these things. You know, and I think that that's the idea. The idea is 
Check yourself, check other people, check your sources, check your facts, check everything. The moment you stop asking questions is the moment you just become another tool in the machine and they're going to play you. And then you're going to vote for somebody who never wanted you or had interest in you. So that's that thing. Just make sure you get educated and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Because if this election proves something, is that your vote matters. Yeah. Think about it. Every one of you for, who voted for Trump here, all you, you know, all the Cubans, you guys matter. You guys give them the state. Stop believing in social media. <laughs> that's true, read, true. read. That's true. That's very true. Fact check. That's, Stop that's, watching. That's it. That's it. That's Don't get true. swayed by Instagram. That's true. That's all of that's true. Give us the outro. That's okay. You give us the um, outro? I pledge allegiance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember that, right? You know, I remember that. I don't, right. I don't, nah, I don't remember. Man. I don't yeah. remember that shit. Yeah, we, we're not left. We're not right. We're just trying to figure it out. This is I'm down. If you liked it, if you loved it, if you didn't like it, if you didn't love it, if you like George's tape, you think it's, it's too walky, if you don't think it's straight, you know, whatever it is. We love you. Appreciate you. Peace. Mike Jones.